to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to inspire and empower your wig journey. Today we're going to take a look at Beltras Caliente. We're going to take a look at the regular Caliente and we're going to unbox a brand new Caliente hand tie. We're going to do a thorough comparison of the two. We're going to determine if the hand tie version is worth the extra cost. Coming up. I purchased the featured wig styles with my own funds from Wig Studio One. If you drop below this video and expand the description box, you'll find a product link directly to each one of these featured wig styles. You can take a look at all of the color options, the pricing, you can order directly from there if you like. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. Caliente has been a staple in the Bell Tress Cafe collection for quite some time, four or five years now and it's just been an absolute popular hit. Um, I love it because it's just into mid-length, from short to mid-length. It's a beautiful textured wave pattern. It has a nice manageable seven inch fringe. What's not to love about Caliente? One of the biggest caveats I have about Caliente is you can see some a lot of variation from piece to piece in the curl pattern. Now this one is probably the best one that I have ever received. It was like this right out of the box. Um, it had a beautiful contour, helping me to pull that fringe back into the style and frame the face. It had an amazing curl pattern. All the wave is uniform. It's very choppy and textured. And I love it. This is the Root Beer Float Blonde, which was just introduced in 2021. So this was the first piece I actually had that color, Root Beer Float Blonde. And I think I have, I honestly think I have six or seven Calientes now without going back and looking. And I'm eventually going to do a video on all of them together, just to kind of give you an idea of the variation in curl and you know what you can do to make it your own and really customize it. But today we're gonna to talk about the brand new release by Beltras called Caliente Hand Tie. So the specs and everything should be exactly the same as the original Caliente, only with a fully hand tied cap. And I really wanna get into this cap with you because there are reasons why I really love the Beltras hand tied caps. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this Caliente hand tied is in the color Butterbeer Blonde. And we'll do some side by sides and things for you too. We're gonna to talk about the value of a hand tied style versus a, just an open wefted style like the original Caliente. Now in terms of the price, the hand tied version of Caliente is approximately $200 more. So you have to be the judge if that's something that you really love enough to make the investment into the hand tied cap. So this is Caliente hand tied. You're seeing it for the first time right along with me. Okay. That, that dropped on the floor is just a little silicone pack to keep the moisture under control for shipping. And typical bell tress, we have some tissue paper here, just a, a straw-like structure to uh, provide some support to keep the shape of the wig style during the shipping process. Okay, there it is. Looks like Caliente, doesn't it? Everything about it just looks amazing, just like I'm unboxing a fresh new Caliente. Now let's take a look at this cap while I have it out here. Okay. This is this hand tied cap is exactly like the Beltress uh, Cold Brew Chic hand tied that I have. This is the exact same cap. So what you have is an ear to ear lace front. So you see the little ear tabs here. They do have some stays enclosed in a little polyurethane tab there. And then the lace actually wraps around that polyurethane tab. It's nicely contoured. And again, that's ear to ear. Another thing that I really love about this is that there is no seam 
between the lace front and the monofilament. It's all made from that monofilament lace material. Um, that way you don't have to use any strategic styling to obscure a seam. I love that. It's like a really long lace front. And then you have some hand tied panels all the way throughout the cap. It's a little bit of a really stretchy mesh base. And then underneath the, um, the they use a little bit of cluster knots there sewn into that base. There's some seams and darts just to give it a nice custom-like fit for comfort. Seems to be quite a bit of stretch in and around the top and the sides of the cap. I won't be able to tell about the circumference until I try it on. Just a little bit of an extended nape there, closed. And then the, uh, the bell truss strap type adjusters. Okay, so I'll go ahead and remove the Root Beer Float Blonde Caliente. Nothing's gonna look as good as this one. I just, I don't think. This one was just perfect. It's one of those unicorn events, I think. We'll go ahead and try this on. Trying on that hand tied and butter beer blonde. Okay, so I just, I just wanna remark on the fit. I made no adjustments. I didn't do anything to this. I want to remark that the fit is fits me well. Um, I have a 21 and a quarter inch circumference, and I don't think I'm going to have to make any adjustments to this cap. Belt truss typically, their wefted caps typically fit me uh, large, and so if you are out there and you enjoy the belt truss line because it has a lot of stretch in the cap, just be aware that the hand tied cap. It's going to fit a little more snug. No way for me to measure large, guys, but um, it fits me great. I don't think I'm going to have to make any adjustments. And it's cute, right? It's cute right out of the box. I wasn't sure what to expect because sometimes when you get a, a hand-tied cap, it kind of changes the style a little bit because there's no permatees to lift it out in certain places. But what I have noticed with the Beltrust brand is that the fiber does all the work. Even the rest of the wefted styles in that cafe collection really have very limited low permities. So the fiber really is what does the work in the style. It, it creates the style, it's the identity of the style. So I really, I really love that. But again, no, no, absolutely no permities at all here. It's a very nice slim profile all the way around. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off and I'm going to shake it out really well because that's what I do. This is the process that I go through to customize the style, to wake it up, to set the movement free, to get a nice wispy appeal to it. So this is what it looks like right out of the box. Let's give it some shakes. I'm also going to remove the tag. <laughs> and this is one of three videos that I did today, so my hair is probably a disaster from having wigs on and off, but I do want to remove these tags. Shake, shake, shake. Using my hands just to set the motion free at the base of the cap. So even those, those even though the knots are hand tied and they can typically move independently, um, you still want to wake them up because they're really tightly compressed to the cap. You hear me say that a lot. Risk of uh, feeling like a broken record, but still there are some people out there that get a wig on and they're like, wow, this is, you know, nothing like I saw on Taz. Um, how did Taz get it so wispy? How did Taz do this and that? So I'm here to show you. Okay, so it's a little bit of a weave part there. And I'm just gonna break that up a little. It's not gonna take much. Just a little bit right there with this brush. Okay, wow, that's beautiful. Now this is the heat friendly fiber. All of those styles in the Cafe Collection by Beltress are heat friendly. Okay, wow, that didn't take much, did it? Let's go ahead and try it on and start working with it.
Okay. Cute. It's really cute. It's a good one. It's a good one. I really like the curl pattern. Okay, look at that. So your seven inch fringe here does kind of feather back into the style, but I enhanced that as you know. So this didn't come with any built-in lift, like any baked in thick calyx or anything. It would be very, very easy right out of the box just to wear that flat down over the forehead. And a lot of you like it that way. I think it just because of my face shape and because of my short stature, I like the lift, you know, I like that contour at the front. Um, so I just put it in. Um, and if, if it doesn't work, just the heat of my hands, I can always use a little bit of heat from a hair dryer or any kind of heat styling appliance. I think they recommend uh, 280 or less on the temperature, but a lot of times our appliances do not have a temperature gauge or setting. So I just, what I like to say is just use, use the minimal amount of heat to achieve your desired result. Just a little bit at a time until you get the result. Um, that will minimize the damage to the fiber. Now this fiber is meant to take the heat, but anytime you apply heat to any kind of fiber, it's going to start working on it in a way that deteriorates the, the structure of the fiber. It's unavoidable. Lucky. <laughs> okay. So my little trick is I just take the front and I move just a little bit over to the left hand side, break up that part a little bit, and there's enough resistance there to give me the lift that I like. Okay. Okay. I think you get the idea, right? Cute. Oh my God. It's great. I love it. I do love it. So while we're up here, let's take a look at the lace front. They run the highlight right up to the lace front. I did notice that. The seams are well obscured. The knotting seems to be a little bit finer. Now I will say that the lace front uh, monofilament structure that they have here is a bit thicker and scratchier than some that I've seen from Bell Trust, but it's beautiful. They did the knotting perfectly. It just seems to be a little bit thicker. The material that they're using just is a little bit thicker than sun. But wow, oh. <laughs> dream hair, dream hair. <laughs> All right, uh, so what are your thoughts so far on this? Looks like caliente, doesn't it? So what are the advantages of a hand, a completely hand tied cap? We know what the disadvantages are, right? The price. The price is $200 more, which is darn near, you know, almost 100% more in terms of price, at least 75% more. So we wanna be sure that the product improvement justifies the price. A lot of ladies out there love a hand-tied cap for the additional realistic look of a hand tied cap. So you don't have the wefting to contend with. So if, if a big wind comes and you're out and about, it's, it's worry free. It's absolutely worry free. Um, the other advantage for a hand tied cap is the typically the lower profile. So there's no permatease on a hand tied cap is what I mean. Um, likewise though, in the regular Caliente, there's very little permatease on that one as well. Um, but the movement of this fiber is a lot more freed up on this one. We've got those hand tied knots. They move a little more independently, gives them a nice natural look. So I do feel like that is an improvement to the original Caliente. 
the fiber. It moves like a dream. I'm saying you could just put, it just feels like I'm just massaging my scalp in there. Um, it just feels like a part of my head. And I love that about a hand tied cap. Typically a hand tied cap too, um, can become very, com it is very comfortable. It is very comfortable. Um, I would say, especially if you have an average or petite sized head, it's going to hug it a little bit more. I find that with Beltress, a lot of the times the circumference is just way too big. I have to make maximum adjustments that creates little gathers and gaps in the cap. I am not getting, I'm not sensing that at all on this one. Um, so comfort, realism, what more can you say? If you own Caliente and love it and have it like me, you've got it in several colors, you may want that one kind of trophy piece, that one Caliente out of your collection that you can wear to that special event. Um, you could wear it out on a windy day because it's going to look more realistic. When you just need that special look, but you are, you want it to still look like Caliente, just maybe kicked up a notch, bam, like Emerald. <laughs> if you could only afford one Caliente, hand tied or two Cali regular Calientes, I would say go with the regular Caliente. That way you have two because they're gorgeous. But if you already have a Caliente and you just want one in a hand tied cap for all the reasons we talked about, you know, it's going to be really, it's going to be worth the investment. It just, it's overwhelmingly comfortable. Now, if you have a large size head, it's not going to be overwhelmingly comfortable. I can almost guarantee that. Okay, so do you guys want to do a side-by-side -side of the Caliente hand tie versus the regular Caliente? I want to see that too. I learn so much uh, when I go to edit it um, because I don't get to see it in the camera and make those observations until I'm editing it. So it's just, it's really fun and educational for me as well.